What's up guys? iPhone 13 Pro Max versus iPhone XR. The first difference between them two you'll see is the form factor of the each of each phone. The XR rounded edges familiar same thing actually with the iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max, 11 as you can see, single camera in the back well on the other hand the 13 Pro Max has a square body triple camera setup in the back 6.7 inches display compared to 6.1 on the XR so let's put them up and see which one will boot first bear in mind here we've got uh, like a few years uh, difference the 13 Pro Max is about a year old where the XR was released back in 2018 but still is still supported uh, you didn't see much difference in the boot up uh, process well of course the 13 Pro Max uh, boot up first because uh, we're talking about 6 gigs of RAM on the 13 Pro Max compared to uh, 3 gigs of RAM on the XR so let's go together and check like for example what iOS each uh, device runs so the 13 Pro Max is on iOS 16.1.2 uh, and uh, the th iPhone XR is on 16.2 uh, which uh, is a beta version anyway so as you can see here on the XR I've, go, I've changed the battery so I've got that uh, unknown part notification there and the Face ID for some reason has stopped working uh, that's alright no worries so the thing the good thing about iPhones is that uh, Apple keeps uh, supporting their devices quite a long so this one this iPhone XR was uh, released in 2018 and uh, like four years down the road is still support still running iOS 16 and it will get a, a, I guess like a, at least a couple of years of uh, major updates but we will see so now let's go ahead and uh, make a, a sort of a speed test comparison to see how apps actually uh, perform on each phone like let's say if we go ahead and open an uh, app store uh, three two one you'll see that it's quite fast on both but iPhone 13 Pro Max it's a bit faster um, again let's go and uh, check uh, the cameras like if we open them together the 13 Pro Max it opens the camera faster than the XR but again it's not a big issue so that means like if you run if you rock uh, if you've got an iPhone th XR and you're like ah, should I upgrade maybe I shouldn't okay that's fine you can keep your XR for at least a couple of years and then uh, you'll see what you can do after that uh, another difference between them two is that if I turn off the dark mode and go here you can see that the uh, notch on the 13 Pro Max it's uh, quite small where on the um, iPhone XR it's uh, way bigger uh, let me do that quickly and show you what I mean like if I go to uh, display and brightness and do that light you can see the difference between uh, the notch on the 13 Pro Max and the iPhone XR but generally speaking I would say that in everyday use you will be just fine if you uh, actually decide to keep the iPhone XR for a bit longer uh, and uh, by the way do not uh, fall for this uh, fear of missing out things like oh 
this 14 Pro Max is out and I'm rocking an iPhone uh, XR, should I upgrade, I will lose this, I will lose that. No, you're not losing anything because if you are comfortable with your iPhone XR, for example, and uh, the phone does everything that you need from a phone to do, just don't spend your extra cash. On the other hand, if you think that it's a good time for you to actually upgrade your phone, then you can actually consider going for the iPhone 14 lineup. But if you're on a sort of budget, let's say, and you're between iPhone 14 and iPhone 13, I would say definitely go for the 13 because first of all, you will save some money and then you will be just fine on the, with the iPhone 13 because anyway, 13 and 14, they don't have so many uh, big differences. Uh, because anyway, the 13 runs the, uh, the Bionic A15, same like the iPhone 14. That, that means, okay, they run the same thing. Maybe the uh, difference will be in the camera department just a bit of tweak on the iPhone 14 compared to iPhone 13. So another thing, uh, iPhones, they are not coming anymore on the with a basic 64 gigs uh, of internal storage that uh, has stopped since the iPhone 13 came out. Uh, now that means that you're getting 128 gigs of internal storage by default, uh, where back in the day, back in the day, a few years back, uh, your basic storage was like 64 gigs. Uh, that's what I've got on this iPhone XR. 64 gigs uh, basic storage but that's all right so let's see something else before we uh, uh, come to a conclusion here uh, if we go and uh, actually launch a game what's gonna happen so let's say asphalt 9 on both put them side by side and well uh, on paper, the 13 Pro Max has 6 gigs of RAM, and that's uh, what we see here. It launched uh, faster, but again, I would say that doesn't mean anything. Like, if, like I said, if you are comfortable with your phone, if you like your phone, if the, your phone does not lag or anything, like, yeah massive lags or anything keep your iphone xr like seriously uh but on the other hand if you think to go for an upgrade feel free to do so and see what options you've got uh, i would say if you want really to go for an upgrade from an iphone xr your next move would be probably the iphone 13 because again uh, Apple did not make uh, something crazy different bringing when they brought bar out the iPhone 14. Yes, okay, if you are planning to go for the 14 Pro Max or the 14 Pro, that's a different story because the 14 Pro and Pro Max, they've got uh, upgraded cameras, three lenses in the back, and uh, you've got on the 14 Pro and Pro Max, uh, 12 wide, 12 ultra wide, and 48 telephoto. So yeah, that's a good one. Where on the iPhone uh, XR, you've got single camera in the back with uh, only 12 megapixels. But again, that comes in the end of the day to your uh, budget, how much you wanna spend. If you wanna go crazy in terms of spending, yeah, go for the 14 Pro Max or the 14 Pro. On the other hand, if you wanna keep stuff on a budget, then your next move, like I said, would be the iPhone 13. That's it from me, guys. If you've got a uh, different opinion or if you want to share your opinions, do so in the comment section below. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a like and don't forget to, su to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.